All right, man. Calm down. <laughs> calm down, man. What up, world? Welcome to another episode of RMT. That's Real Man Talk. It's your boy, Stan the Man. I got my boy EIG in the building. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's good, y'all? What's up? Yeah, man. We coming to we coming today with another great conversation piece. You know, for y'all to join in and have uh, fun with us today. And, you know, before we even get started, you know what we like to do. We love to get these shout outs. Love to get a shout out. So, man, I just want to give a shout out to all the listeners from overseas, in the states, the city, the country, town. Wherever place you might be listening from, even if you might be locked up and you checking us out, man, we appreciate you popping in your AirPods or looking at us on YouTube or however you might listen to us. I appreciate that. And uh, thank you for tuning in. EIG, man, you got any shout outs before we get into it? Yeah, you know it, bro. You know it. Hey, you know, of course, the viewers, the listeners, everybody oh, yeah. that's showing support, everybody that's rocking with us. Hey, thank y'all. Y'all get that off the top. Yes, sir. But today the shout out goes to parents out there. Anybody got kids mm-hmm. out there? Yes, sir. Reason being because your pockets about to start burning a little bit more. These kids about to get out of school, <laughs> and you're gonna be buying food because they're gonna be eating up everything. So I want to give a, a shout mm-hmm. out to the parents, man. Stay oh, yeah. strong. Stay strong. <laughs> Summer won't be long. It, it, it's a rough road, but you're gonna be all right. So shout out to the parents and shout out to the kids. That's out of school that made it that's going on man so oh yeah that's my shout outs for the day doc yeah so without further ado we're gonna head and get into it today and you know i ain't gonna say everybody have been there because some of y'all might be fortunate enough to not been in this situation but me myself i have been in this situation before you know i ain't gonna lie and, and like you know i I've been a player, player all my life, you know. I don't mm-hmm. know about EI, yeah, you know. He might not let me quit. <laughs> but I know it's something that everybody them probably encountered, you know, yeah. through different situations. And so, man, that that right there, what we're going to talk about today is left on red. Ooh. Left on red. Ooh. Yeah. Left on red. Let's go. Let's get into it. So, so listen. Let's get on into this, EI. Now, okay. I know everybody out there probably got a cell phone, and this pertains to cell phone. We're going to go from text, email, phone calls. Everybody in the bin in that situation where you're trying to get in contact with somebody. You're trying to hit them up about something important. This is important. Yes, sir. I'm not just texting, calling you just just because i want to like this is a friendly conversation i need to get in contact with you yes, and they sir. leave you on red mm. oh man oh man i mm. and, and see i'm gonna tell you you know somebody that really get under my skin when they leave me on red Ooh, that's that's man. My Ooh, children. That. Ooh. paying the paying their cell phone bill and they won't answer the phone or they won't text back mm. oh man they get mm-hmm. home, they know they got an earful. So the hammer about to come down. The right? hammer is coming down. It ain't about <laughs> to. They might get in the car. And, and listen, you see the car rocking, mind your business. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> mind your business. <laughs> but on, on a serious note, it's just that, just think about this. You might be that person on, that, on, on the receiving end, or you might have been the person that have done it. Mm-hmm. And it's different times that we might do that because I know from my experience that I remember people used to call me and <laughs> I was embarrassed to answer the phone because of something that I needed to do or I didn't do. Mm. So they hit me up like, hey, this, this, and that. So I'm I'm embarrassed. So I'm like, man, I can't answer the phone. Right. I, I let so, so-and-so let me borrow some money. And instead of me just saying, you know what? Hey, hey, uh, yeah, I ain't got it. Man, mm-hmm. I'm calling back when I got it. You know what right. I'm saying? Right. They shooting the text, you know? Mm-hmm. Man, they, they calling my wife. Be like, my wife, like, they call you. Hey, don't answer the phone, baby. <laughs> don't answer the phone, yeah. hey. You know, but EIG, man, before I get any further in this, man, I want to bring you in. I want to get your thoughts and opinion on this um, left on red, man. I know you got something over there. Man, you know, hey, it's it's a broad topic, 
you know, left on red, anybody that goes any kind of way with your kids. Yep. With a boyfriend, girlfriend, husband, yep. wife, family, either way. Mm -hmm. Whatever just, lane you want to take, baby. Whatever right. lane. It's something about that man that just leave you burning up, right? Because you like right. You know, you just you just gonna disrespect me like that. Exactly. And 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 I get it. You know, because we all experience it, you know, mm -hmm. it, it, it's a, it's natural, but it really point to a deeper thing, man. It really point to, you know, how we feel our pride. Right. 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 Uh, it, uh, if somebody really did it and you like, okay, well they did that. Maybe I could just be like, all right, hey, no sweat. Maybe they, they, they don't rock with me like that or whatever. Maybe they busy, but it ain't a big deal. And we could just forget it and let it go. We'd be good. But, right man right. hey that ego be like yo you you don't do me like that that ego had you like look i'm your man he you got no business reading the message let me see the bubbles and then a response don't come right you're right right not so, the bubbles you right, see the right. bubbles popping up again <laughs> hey you see the bubbles man and it's like, right man you know, you, you, you think something about to come, you think they're about to type a response, and mm -hmm. you get nothing. Yep. And, and, you know, depending on the scenario, hey, you're right. You know, I, I, I feel you. But that is a small area, man, where we can start to work on ourselves. I feel like, bro, like, mm. hey, not getting so bent out of shape about it. You know, hey, I can, there's nothing wrong with addressing it. Hey, man, I text you, you say nothing back, you know, or whatever. But, Man, we really, it's people that don't talk to people no more for that move. Yep. It's people that hate people because of that, you know. So, I don't know, man. It's it's a common thing. It's a big deal. But it really shouldn't be a big deal. I don't know. What you think, Stan? Right. Yeah, I'm 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 kind of I'm kind of on the roast with you, but I I say this. You say it kind of not a big deal. I'm gonna take the other end. I think it's a big deal. You know? Okay. Okay. And and the reason I think it's a big deal because when it comes to certain situations, you might need that phone call because that might be the last phone call that you might get. You see mm. what I'm saying? Yeah. And, and I'm, I'm going to use me as an example. Now, anybody that know me, somebody that be that's listening to me, they know I'm not a person that's big on answering the phone. I'm not big on texting back in a group or texting back, period. But let me say this. But if I call you, you need to answer the phone. <laughs> if I text you, you need to text me back. And so I said all that, man. I, I started getting better at texting people back and right. actually communicating, right? Right. And this is a situation that happened to me. And um, uh, I say this a lot on here, but my um my pops, my pops was in the hospital, right? Yeah. And so before he went into the medical induced coma, he was calling me, and so. I was actually at a dealership getting ready to purchase an automobile. Now, a lot of people, if you at the dealerships, you see them calling, you might be like, eh. But, you know, I stopped in the middle of that transaction and got on that call. But guess what? If I would have left them on red, that was, that was the last time I ever talked to my dad. So imagine how I would have felt if I didn't answer that call, bro. Right. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. And oh, that's yeah. why I said that I think that it's a big deal on, on, on my end. Now, yes. let me be honest. Now, do I just answer the phone like that now? No, I, I ain't going to lie like that. I ain't going to lie like I just answered, but I do better at it. You yeah. see what I'm saying? Right. So but is it... That, a, go go so, ahead, yeah. So is it the same thing, like the call, is it the same to you as the left on red? Like, if I don't pick up... Uh-huh. Right? Or you ain't... You know, you're not a person that's big on picking up the phone or whoever we can use anybody right right and then right. a text message that somebody sent and they you didn't get a response is it any difference in them in like the phone call or phone the left on red text? i don't i don't think it is I don't, right. I don't think there's no difference in the two now if i text you and you text me and i call you back hey that's that's that, that's my response you know right right well, if I, I call you and you text the answer i'm cool with that Right. It's just the fact of you not communicate at all. And you say that's the same. I think it's the same. Yeah. I no, think it's the I, same. I, I, I too 
200% agree. My bad. Go ahead. Finish no, that. No, but see, look, man. Oh, wait. That's a good one. Listen, it makes me mad, too, when you know somebody that be on their phone all the time or somebody you texting, you calling, mm. and then you go on social media and they post. Oh, man. Mm. They post. And you go in there, you like that picture, you'll come in up on the answer your phone. Right. They go with right. phone, shoot else that phone. Right. And they still don't call you. They still don't text you. Matter of fact, they log off. Mm. I say, you know what? My next post gonna be about that money you owe me. <laughs> I'm gonna show everybody cash app log where I yeah. cash app you. And when you was texting me back and forth saying that you need this money, and I sent it to you, and now you don't want to answer the phone. Mm-hmm. So let me. <laughs> mm-hmm. So let me. So which one? Which one do you think is? Which one you think is worse? Is it gonna be the text or or the call to you? Nah, I I mean, either one. They the same to me. There's no difference. Ah, okay. You know? Okay. I mean, okay. there ain't no difference. I was just seeing if it was any difference to you. you ah, know what okay. I mean? Because okay. I, and, and my thing is, I feel like, yeah. I'm not saying that it's cool. It's great. You should be happy if somebody didn't respond to you. But I'm saying, hey, should it have you ready to go left field? Nah. You know what I mean? Now, hey, there are certain circumstances where it's like, look, we got an agreement. You tell your son, hey, call me. Hey, I'm dropping you off at the movies. Or you drop your daughter off somewhere and ain't no response. You see that? Yeah, hey. I get that. You know, or Mm-hmm. Somebody that's in a relationship where y'all are obligated. Maybe you married. Maybe y'all seriously dating, and you just play it left. Like it's, it's that's all bad. I'm not saying none of yeah. it's good, but at the end of the day, yeah. like you said, the, the topic is left on red. So, mm-hmm. hey, that person the, feeling with that emotion, the person that is left on red. You know, right, right then, right then, if somebody do that to you, is that enough to cut them off? Like a friend, family member, is it, is it, is it enough for you to cut them off? Oh, that's a good one, man. Let me, hold on. Give me one second. Let me, okay. It depends on the situation. I'll put it like that. Okay. It depends on what, what that situation is, you know, the context of what's going on at that time. Right. You see what I'm saying? So if it's something that's important that's going on, I don't think it's worth um, just savaging the, I mean, just just to- totally destroying the whole relationship. But it just depends on what's going on because if I'm in a life or death situation yeah, and I, and I call you, now it could be something on your end that's going on with you that I don't know about right? and you don't answer the phone. But after we talk, and I'd be like, oh, that's what was going on with them. I had this going on. That'll be understandable. Right. But if I'm I'm in a, a situation, and I'm messed up, bro. I'm mm-hmm. messed up. Right. And I'm calling you, and you don't answer the phone. I ain't going to say I'm just totally, I ain't going to just totally just exit you off for the one wrong doing. But right. our relationship would change. Right. So, you know, so if they if they got a good excuse, does the relationship still change? Like, I mean, if it's valid, because I know life <laughs> goes on. If it's right. valid, yeah, you, right. you see what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. If it's yeah. valid, I I say yeah. But but see, yeah. But think about this though, bro. Okay. Just say, just say you on the side of the road. Just say you you know broke down and you something on the side of the road, mm-hmm. and you call me, and you and I I don't answer the phone. You call me multiple times. I don't answer the phone, right? I call you back. I'd be like, hey, man, I was busy. I had something going on with the wife and kids or whatever. But on the flip side of it, just say you call me or you shoot me a text and you talk about, hey, man, I got I got, I got uh, $1,000 for you, right? Mm-hmm. I hit you right back. Hey, I can drop everything that I'm doing to get that money. Right. You see what I'm saying? And so mm-hmm. I think it's just how people, how important they think that situation, how important that person is to you. Because when it comes to money or it comes to something on, on the other person in that they want, 
Yeah, they're not going to leave you on red when you call them and you got something that they want. Right. They're going to text you back. Hey, shoot me a cash out. Oh, shoot. You get that back. Bam. Right, <laughs> right. You see right. what I'm saying? Yeah. But if I be like, hey, man, can you help me move? You know, you send the 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 emphasis. You send it back, like you know, for it to slam when it, you know, the the slam come up on the text, like, <laughs> "Hey man, can you help me move?" You call. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? So I, I think it's just different circumstances that I ain't gonna say I cut people off, but it'll change the relationship that I have with them at that particular time until they do something different. You see what I'm saying? Oh, yeah, definitely, man. I mean, it changed the relationship or it can change the relationship, you know, in my eyes, because with that information, if I know somebody is intentionally like dodging me, then that's like, OK, it's really not. I really have to accept where they are as how they view our dealings, how they view this mm. relationship. I have to accept yeah, yeah. where they have me on the priority list and I can't throw a fit mm. if I ain't number one. You know what I mean? I can't really go be mad at the world if i ain't at the top of somebody's list no matter how urgent i need it no matter what it is and i'm not saying that hey feel good about it no but i am saying that's for me to collect all that data right there if i got left on red and i know hey, it was intentional i know somebody dodging me oh okay well i don't have to use anger but i can know well we different i thought we were something else but we different and that don't mean I got to stay on it like and be bitter at you and I can't you know I can see you hey what's up you know whatever it is but hey I know the dealings now when it's time for something to come through you need me then yeah hey man we got we, we I have a choice to make then I, right. we need to talk about how we deal or we don't got to talk about it but at the end of the day it's all data for me it's all information for whoever got left on red to analyze and make a choice and i'm saying even if you choose to cut them off don't let it be out of bitterness even if you choose to have the, the relationship uh change that dynamic different we don't it don't have to be a negative feeling that you hold on to you know yep. because if you stuck in that i'm i got left on red and making that a big deal then yeah it's a big deal you're a victim you're gonna be singing that slow song for years to come and the next person that do it and the next person but i feel like being free is realizing what it is and, and whenever it's got something to do with somebody else as hard as it is for us to accept what they're doing we got to yeah other otherwise we walking yeah. around with day luggage you know what i mean yeah. that's crazy i if i'm going to the airport i i it's crazy for me to have your luggage then you know what i mean that, right that right was, right that's psycho so if somebody did, you know, ghost me like that, leave me on red, not pick mm -hmm. up. All right. I I feel all that anger, whatever. But now, OK, let's analyze this. And do I got to wear that badge of honor? Like you did me wrong. I don't fool with you. You dirty. You ain't what I thought. you. No, hey, man. That person may not have felt like helping me move. That person may not have felt like texting me something romantic back. But either way, it's for me to look at and make a move and not stick on it. Ooh. -hoo. Well, you know, we appreciate y'all for tuning in. <laughs> <laughs> man, no. that was good, right? Listen, man, that was good right there. I just want, I don't even want to touch that. I just, I just like the little piece that you said in there when you said that um, I got a decision to make because it's based on where i'm at in your priority list right oh man that was that was good and i think what hurt us the most when we be left on red is that we think we on a we a high priority to that person than we thought we were mm. we thought we was high on the list and we wasn't that high on the list right we thought we was in the the you know back in the day when they first started doing cell phones it used to be the fab five so right. you got five people that's in your call log that you can call before seven o'clock, mm -hmm. eight o'clock. You can call yep. before nice four, five o'clock, and you won't have to use your minutes. And you're nice. not in that. You're not in that five five. Mm. You're not in it. And so 
when that reality kicks in that you're not as important to that person that you thought you were, mm-hmm. then I think that's when the feelings get involved. When you care about somebody, you love them, man. You want to, mm-hmm. you thinking that that's, that's how we are. Oh, man, right. that's my boy. He got my back. Oh, that, that's my girl. That's my wife. They ain't going to do that to me. And then all of a sudden, it's like, hey, it is what it is. You know what I'm saying? It is it what, is it, what is. it is. And so when you make that decision based on where they set you in the priority, when it come on your end, and I'll I, I say this, when it come on your end, it's not the fact that you want to get back. It's not the fact you want any revenge or that you bitter. Right. But at the same time, you have to protect yourself and your peace. Because mm-hmm. if you continue to give, 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 and that, that person probably ain't even think about what they did. They know you not high on the priority list and they not tripping about that. But now you got to make that decision. Like E.I. said, hey, I'm not high on this priority list. So he called, listen, man, I, I you know, I, I can't do that this time. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I, I can't I can't do that this time, man, because you're going to have to you got to come to a point that you have to look out for yourself. Self-preservation. Yeah. And if me bending over backwards for you. It's hurting me, and you don't appreciate that. Right. I got to make sure I take care of me, man. That's right. <laughs> you, you see what I'm no saying? Doubt. I got to make sure I, I, I take care of me. And this is last point that I want to touch on real quick is that I think we put, when it when it comes to, to people, and we just said this in so many episodes, mm-hmm. is that when you realize where you at, and what people think of you, mm-hmm. your decision from that point, whatever happens from that point is on you then. Oh, yeah. You see what I'm saying? Oh, well, they yeah. done showed you the true colors. They done showed you who they are. They done left you on red. You done to miss your calls. They doing all those things. Now, whatever happens after that point, that's your hurt. That's your pain. It's self-inflicted now. Man, self-inflicted. Yeah. It's self-inflicted now because they ain't showed you who they are. Man. But you keep on trying to press and trying to be more important to this person than you actually are. Yep. And the more you press that to show how important you are, how good I can do this, I can do that, it ain't going to mean nothing because they don't think that about you no way. I had to learn that the hard way. Man. I had to learn... And see, this was this was one of my problems, and I always use me as an example because yeah. I don't like talking about other people. But one mm-hmm. of my problems with me thinking how important I was to people, man, was I humble? I was humble, right? To find out that what people actually thought about me, like all the things that I was doing, and mm-hmm. it makes you. I'm gonna say this, yeah, it makes you be like, you know what? I wish I would have never did that for them. Ooh. Oh, I, I wish I would have never did that. I wish I would have never gave them this. I wish I would have never went the the distance that I went for them. I wish Man. I would have never did that. Hey, that's another topic in itself, right there. Boy. Yeah, go ahead. Go ahead Man. No, nah, man. No. <laughs> <laughs> Real. You, you see what I'm saying? Yeah. And so, man, I, I, ain't, I ain't even I ain't even gonna go down that road because cause we're gonna be talking for another 30 minutes. I ain't gonna go down that road because I'm a little <laughs> warm now. I'm gonna mm-hmm. let the top back, you know, hey. put the signal light on, let my windows down, get off this exit and turn over here on EI's corner. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey man, <laughs> when you're hot, let the top drop. You know what I'm saying? Come <laughs> holler at your boy. Hey, man, I want to thank y'all, you know what I mean? For sliding in with your boy one more time, man. And y'all know how this go. Still a nation, black and yellow way. Let's go. Oh. Never go astray. Yeah, we got I got to represent for them, man. So, hey, now that we got that out the way, I can, I, can do, I can do what I'm here to do. Hey, bro, Miami, Boston. Oh, man. We talked about it. Yo. 3-0. 3-0. It was impressive for them to come back and tie it. 3-3. Take it to a game seven. 3-3. Yep. Then they got the game seven, man. And it was just like. At home. 
at home. Yeah, make sure you say that at home. At home, ladies and gentlemen, they had the crowd, they had the momentum, all the green was everywhere, but the heat was hot that night, bro. And I think, like I said, they're a scrappier team, man. I don't know, you know. Mm-hmm. I, I don't like I don't like all the crying and whining that go on on Boston. Man. That's just my opinion. You know what I mean? But them boys got that far, and now they out of there, man. Go. So now that bring us to this one again. Like I said, Miami and Denver was who I was thinking, and then here they go, man. So let me get your let me get your prediction one more game. Miami, Denver, who you got, bro? Hey, hey, before I get my prediction, I'm going to talk a little noise, right? All right. So listen, man. <laughs> we got Jalen Brown. Okay. And we got um we got we got JT, right? Yeah. So well, people might not know JT. I'm going to say Jason Tatum. So we got Jason Tatum and we got mm-hmm. Jalen Brown, right? Right. So listen. I was talking to my homeboy at work and he was like, "Yeah, man." I was like, man, they need to go to the Wiz. You got the Tin Man, mm-hmm. and you got the Cowley Line. One need to get some courage, <laughs> and one need to get a heart. Because y'all man. doing terrible, man. But anyway, man. anyway, I still got the heat. I still got the heat going. And for the same reason, better <laughs> better coach to me. The coach yeah. has been there multiple times, won multiple championships. And I just think in those situations, especially him coming up 3-0, lost three games in a row, came back, pulled out a game seven on the road, pull out a game seven to take them to the championship. So I just think from those dynamics, from those coaching and those players, I'm still rolling with Miami. Hey, man, that's a good pick, bro. I like that, Miami. But they ain't going to do it. They good, but they ain't going to do it. Right, my pick is my pick is Denver, man. Denver looks solid. They look yeah, solid. They, they look good. like they look like they looked in the bubble, man. Before Jamal Murray got hurt, Murray but he's hurt. back, yeah. and he doing his thing, man. So mm-hmm. we're gonna see, man. We got we got our picks, man. We got our picks, and we can look down the road to see where we at, who was right, you know, who was wrong, man. But before right. I get out of here, man, just want to say something real quick, man. Father's Day, okay. Father's Day. Mm-hmm. Yo, if you're a dad, find a way. Find a way to show some love. I don't care if the mom, hey, if the mom is not allowing it, I understand. But think of something. Be creative. Get in touch with somebody who can give a loving message or a loving gift. Do something and and, and, and be be proud of being a dad. That's what I want to say. Yeah. You know, a lot of fathers, hey, we get discouraged and we get you know detoured away from wanting to do the right thing because of some some drama with the with the baby mom or the child's mother and shit so, yep. but yep. fathers hey i want to salute you stand up be men raise them love them accept them just love them just love on them love love on your mm-hmm. kids love on your daughters love on your son love on your whatever they are yep love them be a dad, man. And that's all I got, man. Y'all, y'all can put the top down now, man. Rolling the AC, man. I'm gonna send it back to Stan. Oh yeah. So yeah, man. I I wanna piggyback off that, man. Off the fathers. Man, fathers are needed. They are needed. I mean, seriously. And you know, I know people get mad at me for saying this, but two things man god made the man first when the man and 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 without men it wouldn't be any children because the children come from us Mm -hmm. now carry the children but right we have the children with us all the time you know (laughs) hey talk (laughs) (laughs) that we had the kids with us all the time but y'all carry them but I, i i i like that man i like that and so and also, man, let me get this off my chest, man. Shoot, this is our show. Listen, we ain't grilling for Father's Day. We ain't cooking. Ooh. We don't want no socks. We don't hey. want no ties. No underwear. No underwear. 
I don't, not one of them little spatulas for the grill. I don't want no one. spatula for the grill. We I'll put it like this. We don't want no gift that we got to do some work to use it mm. unless we ask for it. Expose this, Stan. Expose it, I'm man. Just let, I'm just letting y'all know. I, I might. We might need to do a show on um, 10 top rules for Father's Day. RMT style, baby. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, sir. Do's and don'ts on Father's Day. Yeah, I'm man. And listen, no cheap cologne neither. Don't uh, go get no juke, no preferred stock. Don't go get nothing of no brute. I don't want no axe body spray. No axe body spray. Mm -mm. Go to go to Dillis and give me a nice little bottle now. <laughs> you know, that's what you're gonna do. Hey. You said step the game up, huh, Stan? Step the game up. <laughs> and listen, listen, all right? It just say, oh, well, Stan, man, you up there talking this and that. What if I ain't got no money? Oh, baby, if you ain't got no money, guess what? We like foot rubs. Ooh. Body massages. Come on. You Come know? On. Good cooked meals. Peace, peace and quiet. Man. A, a good quick. Listen, and look, another thing. Don't ask us no questions on that day. We can't solve no problems, no issues just for that day. Off duty. Off duty. Mm. Okay, okay. I'm, hey, I mean, <laughs> you preaching to the people, man. You preaching to the people. Hey, hey, I don't want E.I. to get happy over there. So let me <laughs> I'm about to start shouting, man. You better go on and get off of here, man. Oh, but yeah, so. We appreciate y'all for tuning in, man. We just, no we just, we just fool around. We appreciate y'all for tuning in and um, checking out RMT. Catch us on our social media platforms: Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, Apple Podcasts, Spotify, um, Google Podcasts. And um, listen, I'm speaking into existence, man. I'm gonna say we're gonna have a Ruku channel too. Let's go. Whoa. Let's go, Ruku channel too. I'm speaking into existence. Man, yes, come sir. On. So come on. Yeah, I'm speaking to her. I, I, I talked to all the other shows about all the accounts. I'm gonna say that too. You know what I'm saying? So it ain't happening yet. But so is <laughs> the man thinking. <laughs> hey, come on. Come on, preacher. Yeah. And so um, uh, hey, we'll see y'all next week. Peace.